everyone, so today I have another haul for you all. I went shopping with my sister at the weekend and I got a few things I thought I might show you. There's kind of a random selection of stuff, but I'm going to start with the makeup because I guess this is a beauty channel and that's kind of what you want to see. Um, and I went to the Chanel counter. I love how they give you like an actual Chanel bag. Um, when you buy Chanel makeup, kind of like makes you feel like you're shopping at Chanel when you're kind of, well you kind of are, but yeah, it's not like you're buying a handbag or something, but I like that. And I got, any guesses for what this is, um, a new Vita Lumiere Aqua foundation. And I got this one in the shade B40 because I had the shade B20 before and I bought it right kind of like at the end of winter, I guess, and when I was at my playlist and it was kind of, like, it, it matched my skin perfectly then, but then since then, it's been really sunny for the last few months, so my skin's got a little bit darker, so I got B40, which is beige dessert, um, or desert, whatever, however you want to say it, looks like that. This is probably my all-time favourite foundation, I absolutely love it, I've done a review on this, if you guys haven't seen it already, go and check it out, I'll put a link down below for you all. And then I also, I finally caved and picked up my first ever, um, YSL Rouge Full Up or Volupte, I'm not entirely sure. I think it has an accent on the E, so I think it might be Volupte. And I didn't do the kind of predictable thing and go for a nude or a pink. I went for probably the brightest colour that they do, which is, um, what's it called? I think it's called Forbidden Burgundy. Yeah, Forbidden Burgundy number 12, which looks like this. As you can see, I have actually tried it already. I tried it on in the car on the way home after we bought it. But it's really, really gorgeous. I'm going to show you. Obviously, you can see from the um, window, I have like a line of sunlight here. So I'm going to show you in the sunlight because I think you can see the colour better. But that is what it looks like. Really, really gorgeous. It's kind of plummy. And actually, the colour of the kind of like insert bit here is actually quite red. But the actual colour of the lipstick is quite pink. It's kind of like a purpley, plummy kind of pink colour, as you can see there. Really, really nice, and the formulation of these is really, really smooth, lovely. Love the packaging. They're really expensive. It was, I think, £21? Maybe £22? I don't have the receipt here, but... Um, yeah, they're really expensive, but really nice, and I'm hoping I'll wear this a lot in the summer. So I finally caved and got a Rouge for Latte. I don't think this is going to be the last one that I own, because I really like this one, and I might go for a more kind of daytime colour as well. Um, so that's all the makeup I got. So I'm going to get that, just rub that into my hand so that I don't get it all over the clothes that I'm about to show you. Um, I then popped along to River Island, which is really becoming one of my favourite shops. Um, I never used to shop there, and I've shopped there loads recently. Anyway, I picked up this yellow dress which looks tiny but it's whole, the whole back is elasticated so it's obviously like I'm not that skinny as you can see like wouldn't even fit like a five year old probably um, yeah so it's this yellow dress with um, they're kind of like navy roses which kind of really doesn't make sense because obviously you don't kind of get flowers aren't blue usually so um, yeah kind of weird and they kind of look like butterflies from a distance but they're not they're roses and it looks like that I really like this I just think it's really nice for the summer really bright it's also one of those dresses I think you can dress up and dress down I'm kind of undecided whether to wear this to a wedding next weekend I don't know whether it'll be smart enough but I think if I kind of accessorize it with the right things it probably will be smart enough so I might wear this I just really really like this thought it was really bright and nice it was $29.99 my sister actually got the same dress in like a navy blue with um, it had like black stitching and then it had a pink zip down the back. It was so nice. Like it was nicer than this one, but she kind of saw it first and I was like, if you don't get that, I'm going to try it on too because I really, really like it. But she ended up getting it and I got this one, which is kind of good because I think the navy one was, I think that was £50 and this was 30 So it's probably better for the bank account. Um, yeah, but I really, really love that and I thought I will wear it a lot in the summer. So love that. The next thing I got was from Miss Selfridge and I actually bought this last week, but I'm going to show you now anyway because I haven't showed it to you. And it is this kind of black and white feather print, I think it's like a feather print dress, like that, and then it's elasticated at the waist, it used to have, oh hi Wolf, um, <laughs> she wants to say hello, I don't think she does, um, yeah, it's elasticated at the waist, and it used to have one of those fabric, little fabric belts with it, um, I took that off because I like using my own belt, um, yeah, I just think that looks better to use a kind of a proper belt rather than a little tie belt. But the main thing I like about this dress is that it has the sheer lace back, which I think is just really pretty for the summer. It also makes it really light and quite cool if it's kind of hot weather. 
Um, I just think it makes it a bit different. It's quite short, it comes up around about mid-thigh. Um, it was in the petite section, so that's kind of why it's short, but I'm only 5'3", so I kind of can shop in the petite section. I'm not necessarily really petite, but I'm short enough to be able to shop in the petite section, so I really like that. I think it's another one of those dresses that is a really good kind of dress it up, dress it down kind of piece, so you can wear it in the daytime, or you can dress it up, put heels on and wear it in the evening. Really like that, I think it was £36. I also popped into Zara and got some shoes, and I was specifically looking for some wedges because I went to a wedding um, this weekend, so on Saturday, and I was wearing a maxi dress, and if you guys know, if you wear kind of like a chiffon, kind of, or silk, whatever, maxi dress, and you wear stiletto type heels, you can just put the heels straight through the back of the material, which is not good. So I was looking for some wedges to go with my outfit, because the only other ones I have are like really casual, kind of, um, like woven heel wedges, and I found these in Zara, which I thought were really pretty. They are kind of like a faux suede here, that's not real suede, and then a crisscross kind of sandal front. As you can see, I wore them at the weekend, so they're a little bit worn, but I really like they're those. They're only £30 as well, which I thought was quite a good deal. I think I'll get quite a lot of use out of them in the summer, because they're kind of bright and summery. Wedges are easy to wear in the summer as well. And they are surprisingly comfortable. I wore them all day, and as you can expect with um, sandals, they do kind of cut into your feet a little bit, because all sandals tend to do that after a few hours. But considering their sandals, they were pretty comfy, so I like those. Um, I also got a flower to put in my hair, specifically for this wedding that I was going to, and then on the day, I didn't get enough time to put it in my hair. Um, so it looks like this, it's so pretty. Um, and it comes with just like a little clip on the back there and you can just clip it in, it looks so nice. And I didn't get time, on the day we were so rushed, like my whole family were going crazy trying to get out of the door and I didn't have time to put the flower in my hair. So I haven't worn it yet, but I might wear it. I'm going to another wedding next week, so it's like wedding season at the moment. All my family seems to be getting married. Um, yeah, so that was eight pounds from accessorizing. I think it's really nice. Even if I don't wear it to this wedding, I'm, I'm gonna wear it in the summer because it's really pretty, I like that. That was from Accessorize. And then last but not least, I went to TK Maxx. Now, TK Maxx has to be probably one of my favorite places to shop. I am just a total bargain hunter, so um, yeah, I just love it. First of all, I found this bikini, which is, it's just like a string bikini, it looks like this. Um, and it has fluorescent pink, Oh, wait, would you call them straps, ties, whatever, and then it's like turquoise with white stripes, matches my nail varnish, how nice. Um, looks like that, I thought this is really nice, the bottoms are just like that. Yeah, so I really like that, I think this was 19 99 reduced from £100, which seems like a lot to me. The make is Ondade Mar, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, made in Colombia it says, I don't know if it's a Colombian company or what, but I really, really like that, I thought that's really cute for the summer. And then I also picked up this scarf, and this is kind of like a linen scarf. It's like white linen, and then at the ends it has this kind of fluorescent pink, slightly coral stripes. And I just thought this was really nice for the summer. I absolutely love scarves in the summer. I know scarves are traditionally meant to kind of keep you warm, but for me they're definitely more of an accessory rather than actually kind of keeping you warm. But I thought this was really pretty, especially kind of for the evening in the summer, or if the summer's got caught in my necklace. If the summer's not actually that hot, like it often isn't that hot in England, then um, summer scarves are really nice, so I like that. Okay. So finally, and this is kind of the boring part of the video, but I picked up some exercise gear. Now, anyone that knows me, or I don't know if I've even spoken about this before, but anyone that knows me in real life will know that I am the least kind of active person. I hate exercising, I hate the gym, I hate running. I just absolutely despise it, and I'm desperately, desperately trying to kind of get fit because I just live a very idle lifestyle. Like, I like walking, but I'm not really big into the gym, so I'm trying to get into the gym, trying to motivate myself, and I have been running for the last week or so, and I thought, I'm gonna go and buy some new gear to kind of, like, make me feel better when I'm running, partly because I don't own any shorts as well, and it's kind of warm when you're running in the summer, and the only thing that I have to run in are, like, really thick tracksuit bottoms, um, so I bought some running shorts. These are just so unattractive, um, but they do have a cute pink zip on the back. <laughs> like that, and I'm not entirely sure what this pocket is for. I'm guessing, it's like right on your bum. I'm pretty sure it's maybe for your iPod, so that you can like, put it... It seems like a weird place to have it, but I'm guessing, because if you have it in the side pockets and you're running, um, it kind of like swings around, I guess, so maybe having it on your bum is a better plan, but if anyone knows about these pockets and why they're designed like that, then let me know, because I'd like to know. Um, so I got those, I think they were £10 or something, and then I also got some uh, cut-off tracksuit bottoms like this and then they kind of have a pull in at the end. 
Um, these are from Pineapple Dance Studios and these were £10 as well I think. So yeah, exercise gear, wish me luck guys because I hate exercising but I am kind of getting into it, I'm kind of starting to enjoy it a little bit more. Um, healthy eating and all that for the summer, so yeah. Yeah, so that was my haul, I hope you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again very soon, bye!